Hi, how are you? Thank you. Yes, coffee would be great. Thank Me you. Too, please, thank you. You know, the whole question of migration through the ages, at yeah. least since biblical times we've yeah. had it, but now in our lived history, we have a refugee crisis, we have more migration than we've had since uh, World War II. And started thinking about this community and the possibility of having one in doing my own work on translation studies, yeah. but also literary history, and started to realize how much I needed to know mm -hmm. to talk about some of these things in the current period. So I went to a couple of colleagues and talked with them, learned a lot, and started to think about how much it would mean to have a group of faculty from roundabout campus who could talk about these things and in innovative ways uh, share knowledge, share ways of thinking about this issue and how eventually this could have a huge ripple effect on campus through our teaching, through having student affiliates, graduate and undergraduates and Perhaps over time, this will, that we will see opportunities for changing the public discourse and developing it into something that can create better solutions or at least better debates about them. Yeah. So. We probably need to understand why people see this issue from, you know, so differently, uh, disagree yes. so widely, yes. uh, where they're coming from, what, what their perceptions are, what their misperceptions are, right. uh, and how this can be clarified. One of the things I find most interesting is that this is an issue that doesn't cut across the usual left-right divide cleanly. There are liberals that worry about high levels of immigration because of the impact on the working class. Mm -hmm. uh, there are conservatives that worry about high levels of immigration both for that reason but also yeah. because of effects on the culture and because of mm -hmm. uh, concerns about cultural stability. Yeah. And on the other hand, there are progressives that are in favor, of course, high levels of immigration, uh, the generous policy towards refugees and poorer mm -hmm. migrants from abroad. And likewise, mm -hmm. there are conservatives who believe in open markets and open yes. borders. Uh, yes. We're more libertarian. So these issues are, are, are difficult ones for both of the major political parties in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it makes them interesting. Now the question of who is a refugee is a central one that hasn't yes. been uh, no. altogether settled. It's an, no. a disputed category in international law. Right. And uh, right. are people that move out of uh, great poverty uh, refugees right. Uh, right. Or, or merely uh, economic migrants. A lot of these issues need a lot more attention uh, right. as a matter of policy and law. Absolutely. And one of the fascinating things is the whole use of language and translation because what if you are a migrant and you do not understand the language sure. of the country into which you've migrated? Um, yeah. To have good translation that's consistent. Uh, so these questions have, have always fascinated me and I think those were, those were some of the issues that attracted me at the beginning to trying to think about this much more broadly. Right. So there are all these questions in the humanities that fit in uh, to this larger issue of migration. I guess another question is, you know, what does it mean to be an American? And what does it mean to sure. be French uh, sure. uh, in uh, periods of rising and large-scale immigration? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do narratives change? Uh, and uh, uh, I know Absolutely. that scholars in literature are studying that. Absolutely. I mean, the question of narratives and narratives of migration is, is absolutely huge and crosses the disciplines. And we each look at it very differently. But if you think of, as you were saying, the narratives that tell us our nationhood yeah. um, or why governments choose certain programs, right. um, migration programs, but then there are also the journalist stories that try to get very close yeah. to the migrant lives yeah. um, and can be short or in book form. And then there are, of course, all the literary narratives right. that are in literary and filmic, right. um, visual arts, music that, that explore other aspects of this. Right. So it's, it's a huge question, a huge cultural question. Yeah. And one of the exciting things about the research community is that scholars are bringing all of these different perspectives to bear. Uh, yeah. I mean, some people are unnerved by these changes <laughs> in what it means to be an American. But, of course. But the American story is one of constant change. Uh, Absolutely. And, uh, and it's a great strength uh, yeah. that we have an immigrant history. It's so interesting to hear what other national perspectives are on yeah. this, which can be very different. And to have people in our research community who are working on you know, the Pacific Asian world, who right. are working on Europe um, and also Latin America and the US yeah. and many other parts of the, yeah. world, the Middle East. So yeah. it's really very interesting comparatively as well. Yeah, in terms and of we've, region. Got, we've got here some of the best scholars in the Woodrow mm -hmm. Wilson School, sociology, political science, in my neck of the woods also philosophy, economics, right. uh, working on both the empirical and the, the moral dimensions of these questions. Right. And uh, right. 
uh, I, I look forward to, uh, you know, to doing more.